Hey guys, welcome to the second video on making a mobile character tutorial series. In this video, we'll be covering camera zoom, idle and walking animation, and creating a health bar that will follow our player and the camera. I'm using a different model than the first video since the first model was no longer free to use. The link to the character I'm using will be in the description below. The first thing we'll do is have the camera zoom in and out of the character. Create a script on the camera and call it camera scroll and open it up in Visual Studio. The variables we'll need are public camera named cam, private float named cam fov, public float named zoom speed, and a private float called mouse scroll input. In the start method, have the cam fov equal to cam.field of view. Then moving to update, have mouse scroll input equal to input.getAccess mouse scroll wheel, which is what we'll be using to zoom in and out. After, set cam fov minus equal to the mouse scroll input times zoom speed, and have the cam fov again equal to mathf.clamp cam fov and the floats of how close and far you want to zoom in and out, which in my case is 30 and 60. If you go to the inspector of the cam and I move the slider, this is what it will be using to zoom in and out. Back to the script, have cam.fieldofView equal to mathf.lope, cam.fieldofView, cam fov, and the zoom speed. That's all for the scroll zoom in and out. Make sure to add your camera to the public camera variable we created earlier. If we play it, you can see it works perfectly fine. Sweet! Next, we'll deal with the character's animation. In this video, we'll just be doing a basic idle to walking animation and then back to idle. In the animator tab, we're going to create a blend tree. Double click the blend tree and create the parameter called speed. You can get rid of the blend parameter since I prefer to have it called speed to make things easier. Then you're going to add two motion fields and it will show you have two empty slots. In these slots, you will have to find your animations and put them there. With idle being on top and the walking animation right below it. In the bottom right, you can see if I move the slider, you can see 0 is idle, and the more you move it towards 1, it will slowly blend to the animation to the walking state. Now that's out of the way, go to your player and create a player animator script. You can have the code I'm about to show you in your player controller script, but I usually like having my animations in a separate script. Once you've opened the script, add on the top using unityengine.ai, and add the following variables. Navmesh agent called agent, public animator called anim, and a float named motion smooth time, which is equal to 0.1. All that's needed in the start method is to have the agent equal to the get component navmesh agent. In the update method, it's pretty simple code. Create a float called speed and have that equal to the agent.velocity.magnitude divided by the agent.speed. Then have anim.set float bracket the speed parameter we created earlier, speed, motion smooth time, and time.delta time. Easy. Now look at this beautiful bastard go with his walking animation. Looks pretty neat. The last thing we're going to do is create a health bar UI above our player that will later code in some damage and healing. By setting it up, create a canvas and have it set to the world canvas. I made the scale to 0.002 and centered it to my player since it will be following our player and the camera. After that, create a slider within the world canvas. Play around with the settings to whatever you see fit. I usually get rid of that little knob and adjust the colors, having the color green as the health and the background as red. Keep this bit left to right. Even though it's not going the right way, we will use a magic of code to make sure it will go from right to left. Create a script in the world canvas game object and open it up in Visual Studio. We won't need a start method and be sure to change the update method to late update. This part is very important. Make sure you have it as late update. All we need to write here is transform.lookat camera.main.transform and the transform.rotate 0, 180 and 0. We finally have a working player for now that looks a decent for a MOBA game. Unfortunately that's the end of the video. Yeah I know I'm sad too, but don't worry I'll try and get these videos out regularly. I can't believe it took me 2 months to finally post this. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.